Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the second movie in our Vincent Price week. Um, tonight we're looking at a, uh, a gothic story based on two factors, based on a poem by Edgar Allan Poe and based on a story by H.P. Lovecraft and that is the film Haunted Palace, The Haunted Palace. Now this is one of um, one of many um, wonderful gothic stories that um, Edgar Allan Poe uh, wrote poems about and um, and this is like a film interpretation of that and it stars our wonderful Vincent Price who plays two characters in the film first of all he he, he plays like this evil kind of a uh, man that lives in this palace at the end of this small town where he uh, he's almost got his, like, his hypnotic powers over women and stuff in this town and they, they walk to his sort of palace and he invites them in and he uses them for so, all sorts of um, uh, terrible sort of things if you like. He, it looks like he's got some sort of creature living down in the the sort of dwellings of his castle has as we see like one of the women it goes to his palace they sort of chain him chain her up and they open the uh the um the grate in the ground and she starts screaming so there's obviously some creature in there and, and the villagers have all sort of cottoned on to this and they they sort of like um first of all they follow her to this um this palace to see what's going on and then she enters and then all the villagers come running out with their typical sort of Frankenstein kind of uh, image with the um, big sort of fire torches and they're going there to to capture this uh, evil man and this film is all set in this very lavished gothic sort of scene you can see that a lot of it is very um paintings and, and sort of like painted backgrounds and scenery and it looks very sort of like fake but awesome with lots of sort of like fog um sort of lining there everywhere to make it look very very gothic and the actual palace itself is 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 caked in in webs cobwebs so that's really really cool and that, that straight away is is a it's a win 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 for me um anyway they they sort of um the the villagers do finally get to the village to um to see what they, he's done to this girl and when they arrive he, they're greeted at the door by um Vincent Price and his um his partner and they say oh, what have you done with the girl and the girl's still there alive but she seems to be in this sort of hypnotic state so they all believe that he's the devil and they sort of take him in time to a tree where they are going to burn him. But before they get a chance, uh, Vincent Price lays a curse on the town and the village. And um, and it's supposed to be on all the families that sort of live there. And you see throughout the film some of the results of this sort of curse. There's children with no eyes who can't see. There's all this sort of thing going on in the town. Uh, anyway, they finally burn him like it on this tree, and we cut to a hundred and ten years later. And the most craziest thing about this whole um, journey to a hundred and ten years later, all the villagers are still alive, <laughs> and they're all exactly the same age as they were a hundred and ten years ago. And it's like, okay, well, you haven't aged; you're all still there. And we see another man and woman arrive and it's Vincent Price playing his second character Mr Ward and he's come there to live he's like an ancestor of this first um, character he played and he's come there to because he's inherited the, the palace and all the villagers are warning him off saying you know it's an evil place it's cursed the whole town's cursed and it's all the same people that were there a hundred years ago. And they're all saying, oh, don't you recognise him? Doesn't he look like someone? I thought, well, hang on a minute. How can you be alive for 110 years and you still look like you're in your 40s? You know, you would if you lived 110 years at their age, they'd be at least 150 years old. 
So anyway, but that could be a part of the curse. Uh, who knows? Um, anyway, and that's uh, the wonderful story sort of unfolds as as um, Vincent Price and his partner unfold the history of um, his ancestors and the village and any sort of monsters may be there. And the sort of story unfolds to this amazing sort of gothic sort of tale. And it's absolutely fantastic to watch. I'm not going to spoil any more of the synopsis for you. It's it's very classic, classic, sort of um, almost like the son of Frankenstein kind of storyline. Um, and and it's very classic sort of a horror. And and it's amazing, really cool. And that's what I think about the Haunted Palace. It's amazing, really really cool film. It's it's a uh, it's just wonderful, and the thing that makes the film wonderful is the, the the slow pacing of the film, because you get to know the characters, and the incredible environment, and the sort of like, love and detail that's gone into the environment, like I said, the cobwebs, and the mist, and the fog, all this adds to the wonderful sort of atmosphere, to this sort of wonderful movie, and I think they almost play out as characters on their own. And it's kind of, you know, and there's some things about the film that I really love, like these people, still the same villagers 110 years later. But that wouldn't be, would it? It would It's impossible. But they are, and they're the same age and everything. And it, it it's kind of crazy, but it's great. Um, the pluses of this edition, as you can see in the clips, it looks stunning. It looks absolutely amazing. I'm not sure if this is a 4K scan. Um, high definition Blu-ray. No, it's a 1080p scan. So, But it looks almost 4K. -ish. Um, it's an amazing transfer. Um, the cast is absolutely stellar. Vincent Price is once again a legendary in this performance. I think this is... When he plays things like this, if he plays... Anything kind of like this when he's in the element. Like I told you in the first video, I think he would have been much better as a stage actor playing Shakespeare and stuff because he's got that authority about him and that sort of that sort of class. You know, a bit like Christopher Lee, who's got that sort of class about him. And, and he's got it in Oodles and it's absolutely wonderful. Um... It's a great story. It's a fantastic story. And the way they've sort of combined, com combined, combined two classic tales of uh, obviously H.P. Lovecraft and Edgar Allan Poe stories together to make this wonderful film is absolutely clever. Uh, the negative, it could be a slow burn to a lot of people because it's an old film. And these films weren't allowed to show sort of things like nudity or gore or anything like that. So it's it does lack those elements of a horror film, but that doesn't make it less of a horror film or less of a horror story. Um, the actual tale itself is, is a horror tale and it's scary. Um, it's atmospheric. <clears throat> and it's as good as any Universal movie that come out before it. It's as good as any Hammer film, because this is sort of like... Um, these sort of films were kind of hammerish in style, um, and it's just as good as any of those. Um, if not, maybe a bit more lavished, because obviously the, the American film market had a much bigger budget than obviously the UK sort of market. So it's got that sort of like, um, you can tell us that they've spent money on it. And it's wonderful. So I'm going to score the film an amazing watch and give that a 9 out of 10. Absolutely fantastic story. I can't give it a 10 out of 10 because, one, it doesn't contain any sort of gore or any sort of um, nudity or stuff like that, that makes these films incredible. Yes, I gave Theater to a Blood 10 out of 10 because that does contain both those elements. And it's also a unique story, that one. That's a unique story. This is a classic story, so it's not necessarily unique. Um, so it's, but it, it's absolutely, nonetheless, it's an amazing, amazing film and worth anybody's time. So if you get a chance to pick that up, you want a classic um, movie on a winter's night, we've got winter approaching, on a cold, dark winter night, you want to sit in your cosy home with a 
cup of cocoa and some marshmallows, whatever, and for a cosy um, classic horror, The Haunted Palace, you cannot go wrong with it. It's absolutely fantastic. And to me, that's the best setting to watch the film. It's in the cold sort of October night. And here I am watching it in the middle of August. But I'm doing it for you guys um, to 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 uh, review it. I probably will redig it out in October and watch it again. I had an amazing time watching this film, and I can't wait to watch it again. Haunted Palace, nine out of ten. Any of you guys seen it? If you have, let me know down below what you think of it. Vincent Price is one of those actors that, when I was younger, I didn't appreciate. I think because. I, I I had a bit of an attitude, and I was like, oh, you're just trying to copy uh, um, Christopher Lee, and all this, you're just trying to be like another Christopher Lee, and, you know, us Hammer films are the best, and over years and years, I, I realised that no, he's not trying to copy Christopher Lee, or any of that, he's just a an established, amazing actor in his own right, and his screen presence is absolutely wonderful and over the years i've become a huge fan of vincent price so it's really really cool to dedicate a week of films to him the other day we looked at the theater of blood which is probably my favorite vincent price film which i gave a 10 out of 10 tonight we looked at this one on friday we're going to look at you have to wait and see because I've got like about five or six films to choose from. I was thinking about which find a general, but I might leave that off and go for another gothic tale. We'll see. Until that video, watch some more horror channels for me. Watch Horror Hands, Horror Geek, Man V Film, Irish Designs, Pizzawell, I Am the Ice Lord, Cat Watches Horror Movies, um, Sarah of Horror. Grumpy Andrew's Haunted House, and of course, a massive shout out to my amazing lad, Lemon Lord. Until next time, look after yourselves, look after one another, and I really hope I'll see you all soon.